A retired agricultural engineer has taken advantage of the 40-year experience in the trade to set up an edible oil refinery at his homestead in Kitale, Transoya County. Paul Jogona, a former employee at the Agricultural Development Corporation, is optimistic his new venture will be successful thanks to his extensive knowledge in the field. Having served as a technical manager in the engineering department at the Agricultural Development Corporation, Paul Njuguna called time on his productive career, which lasted 40 years last year. Upon retirement, Njuguna decided to set up an edible oil refinery at his homestead in Kitale, although he launched the Elgon Enterprises this year. Njuguna says he had initially begun services in 2002, but operations soon stopped as he had limited time to oversee production. We started this business way back in 2002 on a very small scale oil press of about 60 kilograms per hour. But that time we were engaged, I was on job and I couldn't manage to concentrate in sourcing the raw materials, in uh, marketing the product. With more time on his hand now, Njuguna procured a state-of-the-art processing plant from China, which he says is highly critical on his new venture. The future plan is to expand this. Right now we are doing 300, uh, 300 kilos per day. We intend to raise it to about 10 tons per day as we move on. And we also have to we'll diversify into feed production. He explains the extensive process involved in processing sunflower and canola oil into Elsan, the brand name of the final product in the market. I decided now to go into full-time refining. We upped the scale. We've made a capacity of about 300 liters per day. We have the oil presses, which do that in two stages. After pressing the oil, we take it through oil refining. From oil refining, which is, which is right on the background, we take it through breaching and then deodorizing, and finally to packaging. The farm produced its first batch in August and delivered the product in Nairobi with the help of a strong sales and marketing team comprising his sons, who are directors of the company, alongside their mother. His wife, a retired agricultural extension officer, has benefited from the processing since the waste product are used in feeds for chicken and dairy in the couple's farm. I've had a, a lot of uh, passion, yeah, actually, in, uh, especially in poultry. That has been my passion for a long time. So I was doing extension actually in the Ministry of Agriculture. I was in the Ministry for quite some time. So and uh, I've had uh, a lot of passion in, in poultry because uh, that is one of the cheapest enterprise that uh, most women and even young 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 youth the youth can uh, engage in because. It doesn't require a lot of capital. But as with any other business, Juguna says his new venture brings with it its fair share of challenges. One of the biggest challenges, as I can say, is obtaining raw materials. We have guarded against that by contracting farmers to grow sunflower for us. The next biggest challenge that we have is that we have a problem of power fluctuation. In our system, we have had to put in face failures because we've had motors blowing because the power does not sustain the faces. Nonetheless, the duo encourages retirees to make use of their professional experience to set up home-based enterprises and pass on their knowledge to others.